We have the prettiest table right now. Alexis yeah. is here from Rodworks telling you colors you're going to want to have in your house this spring. Right. So bright colors. I know last time I came, we did lots of neutrals. Everything was kind of monochromatic. But, and as beautiful as that is, and, and some people's home looks great in it, I love color. Like, you really need a pop of color to make it feel like spring and summer's on its way. So, Do you feel like you could pick one color? Like, I feel like we have this fun orange here. Right. And kind of focus on that throughout, or do you yes. need a couple of colors? It depends. You could pick one color, like orange, and go with that. Um, I wouldn't go overload. I'd pick one special piece, like this fun bike, and then play off of that with greens and yellows and things that can go with it. But also, um, the best thing to do is to find that one you love. So whether it's the bike or like this fun sign with all the great colors on it, you can use that as your template. Find something that you fall in love with and then go from there. Add to it. Yeah, and then you're pulling the colors in. Like you have the green right. here with the clock and the orange with the bike. Right. Well, right. and I love that you're bringing the greenery, keeping yes. that in. You have to have greenery. Whether it's real or fake, doesn't really matter um, as long as the fake looks real. <laughs> and it, it brings life. If you don't have greenery, then there's no life and it. It will. It won't feel, it'll feel like something's off. Well, and you've actually brought flowers in, these cute yellow yes, flowers. Yes, yes. I love flowers this time. Um, yellow, orange, there's so many great colors, and they, it softens up the look. Um, the greenery is beautiful, but this is that time of the year when you can actually throw in some tulips or some, and you could change them out with the different seasons. I feel like in my house there will be a room that has color, right. and it's always the same color, and then the next room has a different color that I focus on. Is that right. something you'd recommend doing, or do you really want to uh, get a bunch of colors together? It's up to you. I mean, that, there, there can be an overload if you don't use some of the neutrals with it, like the greenery, um, or linens, or something to kind of have a base, but look at how many colors I have up here, and they look fantastic together, because I, it's just enough of each one. Um, I know some people get overwhelmed at the thought of changing the whole house for spring, and we've talked about that even during the seasons like Christmas, where you don't have to redo the whole house. You can certainly just add a pot of flowers on your table, maybe a, a couple of flowers or a couple of color, cute colors on your mantle. Even a fun clock will change the look and, and lighten it up. I feel like when I think Christmas, I think red and green. Those right. are the colors right. I associate with it. What are the colors that are on trend this spring that you should associate um, with? I definitely think green, orange, and yellow. Those are big. Basically, this sign screams spring this year. Um, lots of turquoise. And, and that's the thing. If you love blues, maybe in the spring you do a more turquoise or a, um, a greener blue. If you love red, maybe you want to try a, maybe a little bit of orange instead of just red. Um, but I do feel like those colors can be mixed with spring colors and it, and it looks okay. I mean there are so many colors going on but it, it works. I want to talk about at my house right. I feel like if I had all of this stuff out on a table my two-year-old would run away with it. He would grab it, it would go missing. Right. I want to talk about this neat just dishcloth that you have in the back oh, right yeah. here. Oh yeah. So the great thing about, I, I think we showed these last time, um, and you had said earlier this is a dishcloth but it's a great size for a table. Like. I have this in the middle of my dining room table. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's a dishcloth. If you find a cute dishcloth and you, you fall in love with it, don't, you, don't use it to do dishes. Use it for a side table. Use it for your dining room table. Then you can bring more color in, or it can be your base. It can be your neutral for the color to sit on. I love that so much. Well, yeah. I also, for seasons, like to just switch out my dishcloths. Yes, yes. And I think that's I just a fun way. I Sunday, think that's yeah. such a fun way to bring it in. Well, thank yes. you so much, Alexis, for being here, telling you what colors you need from spring. We'll be right back.